Hi lovelies, Lauren here with another little yoga flow for you. Hope you're all doing okay. I don't know about you, but I seem to have a very tired and achy body at the moment. So I thought what I'd do, I'd put together a lovely slow and stretchy flow. Um, and maybe you're feeling the same, so maybe this is helping you out as well. Um, you don't need anything for this practice, but it's always good to have a strap or a few blocks near you just so you're really getting the full benefit of the stretches and really helping to support the body rather than overstretching and potentially causing any injury. Um, so I hope that sounds okay for you today. And if you're ready, we're gonna make a start. So we're going to start standing today. And we're just gonna start real nice and easy. We're just gonna take a good old shake. So we're just gonna shake out the wrists, shake out the legs, shake out the ankles, really let the body let loose here. So you can shake out the shoulders, maybe have a little jump around. Lovely, really let everything loose. Let the breath go as well. Lovely, well done. Keep going. Keep shaking. Finding new places to shake, perhaps. Shake the hips. Shake the head. Lovely, really let loose. One more full round of breath. Keep going. And exhale. And then when you're ready, gently release. Beautiful. Okay, so just finding yourself standing nice and tall at the top of your mat. Closing off the eyes, drawing the awareness in. Maybe noticing that movement kind of resonates slightly in the body. Noticing how we've got the blood pumping around the body a little bit more. Lovely, find yourself rooting down through the feet and maybe noticing that subtle shift of weight backwards and forwards towards the toes and then towards the heels without forcing that shift away, just allowing it to naturally occur. So noticing even when we are still, the body is still moving here. So everything is in constant motion with the breath. Lovely, allow yourself to take a few deep breaths here in through the nose, out through the mouth. You can repeat that as many times as you need. Lovely, well done, keep it going. Lovely, one more inhale. And one more exhale. Lovely, ever so gently starting to flicker the eyelids back open. Welcome yourself back into the room when you're ready. Take that nice big stretch. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the side, all the way up above the head. Rooting down through the feet, energy out through the fingertips. And then just taking a moment here to reach one arm up at a time. So imagine you're trying to pick something up, up from the top shelf, perhaps. So you're lengthening out through one side of the body, let's say the right hand side. Exhale to change over to the left. Lovely, well done. So it's nothing too precise with this movement. You're just trying to really lengthen out one side, so separating the rib cage as you reach and changing over to the other side. Keep rooting down through the feet as you go. Maybe even finding at one point you start to lift up onto the tiptoes to make yourself even taller. Lovely. But keep changing from side to side. Beautiful, well done. Allowing both sides of the body to gradually get longer and longer. Make yourself feel taller here. Beautiful, nearly there. Keep reaching as far as you can. And let's take once more both sides, once more with the right. Grow tall. And changing over to the left. Lovely. Inhale, reaching both arms up, tuck the tailbone under, lift up through the chest. Exhale, separating the arms, pull the chest down to your forward fold. Have a little softness through the knees here. Maybe take a quick ragdoll, taking hold of opposite elbow, swaying the torso from side to side to really release any t tension through your lower spine here. Allow the head to hang heavy. Lovely, well done. Have one more inhale here. One more exhale. 
Lovely. From here, releasing the arms down. Maybe bring the fingertips to your shins for this. As you inhale, we're going to think about rippling up through the spine. So you're going to undulate through the spine, coming up to your halfway lift. Ripple up. Exhale, ripple back down. Love. So we're going to do that a few times. Inhale, ripple through the spine. Find a bit more length. Shine the crown, crown of the head forwards, tailbone back. Exhale, fold. Keep it going. Inhale, undulate through the spine. Exhale, fold. You can bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, ripple up. Exhale, ripple down. Lovely. Twice more. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely, really well done. Bend the knees, plant the fingertips down, take a nice big step back with the left leg. Beautiful. From here, gently drop that left knee down, untuck the left toes, lift the chest here. So just the fingertips are kind of resting into the mat and push the hips forwards and down. Beautiful. So you might already be feeling that stretch here down the front of the left hip flexor. And you can maybe make this a little bit more dynamic, rocking the weight forwards and back, should you wish. Having a little wiggle around here. Beautiful. So gently warming up the body into the stretch, especially if you've just woken up this morning, perhaps. Okay. Lovely. Full round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. On your next inhale, brush the fingertips along the mat. Lift the chest. Lift the arms. Reach up through the fingertips. Right knee is over the right ankle. Push the hips forward. Here, so again, finding that stretch down the front of the left hip flexor, and then my, maybe gliding the hips further forwards and down. Beautiful, keep lifting it through the chest to protect your lower spine here. Lovely, we're going to hold here for just a little bit, so stay with that slow and steady breath. Lovely, well done. Let's take one more inhale. And one more exhale. Beautiful. Gently bring the palms, the hands back down. Frame that front foot. And then sending your hips back level with the left knee into your half split stretch. So only go as far as you want to go. Listen to your body here. So you might want to have the toes down in towards the mat with a little micro bend in that right knee. Or you might want to gently lift the toes, peel the toes back towards the face and find a little bit more length down the back of that right leg. Keep lifting it through the chest so you're keeping that length throughout the spine. Lovely. And then maybe bring your awareness to your hips. So you're thinking ever so slightly about squeezing the right hip back, left hip forwards. Beautiful. Keep lifting up through the chest. You can use some blocks here should you need to bring the ground up to you. Okay. Holding here. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Beautiful. Gently bending back into that right knee. Heel toe that right foot out towards the side and then bring that right arm on the inside of that right leg. Making sure the knee stays over that ankle. Toes point slightly out towards the side into an easy lizard pose. So taking it nice and easy today. Of course, if you want to, you can make it a little bit harder. Listen to your bodies again. So I'm going to keep my arms fully extended. But if you did want to make it a little bit harder, you can come down onto the forearms. Maybe lift that left knee. Lovely, so just coming to wherever you want to today. And just bringing a nice and easy sway from side to side, keeping the spine nice and long. Lovely, well done. Keep sinking the hips forwards and down. Send the breath to your hips here. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Lovely. From here, press the ground away ever so gently. You're going to send this right knee back next to the left, coming into a little tabletop. So the hips are over the knees. Reach the fingertips forwards. Inhale here. Exhale. Keeping the hips level with the knees. Gently bring the forehead down towards the mat. Maybe even the chest comes down into your puppy dog pose. So keeping both sides of the body nice and long. Resting the forearms down towards the mat, maybe. 
Lovely. Having one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, gently sending the hips back towards your heels, rolling through a child's pose. And inhale, coming all the way up to kneeling. Have a little shoulder roll as you get to the top. Exhale, shoulders down and away. Reach the fingertips back out. Forwards, tuck the toes under, lift the hips, lift the knees, down with facing dog. So you can keep the knees bent here, should you wish. Lifting the tailbone up nice and high, gluing the belly to the top of your thighs. Maybe there's a little wiggle in the hips from side to side. Beautiful. Have one more inhale. And one more exhale. Lovely, inhale, looking forwards, gently lift the left leg. Don't worry about how high we're lifting that left leg today. Exhale, squeeze the left knee in towards the chest and softly stepping that left foot forwards. Beautiful, gently drop that right knee down towards the mat. So repeating that low lunge sequence on the other side. Lovely. So just having a little moment to press the fingertips down towards the ground, lift the chest ever so slightly, sinking the hips forwards and down. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. Lovely, well done. Have one more breath in. One more breath out. Lovely, on your next inhale, brush the fingertips along the mat. Lift the chest, lift the arms, low lunge, reach up through the fingertips. As you exhale, glide the hips forwards and down, push the hips down, beautiful. Keep tucking the tailbone under, finding that stretch. And again, holding here. Being sure not to puff out in the rib cage too much. Keep knitting the rib cage together ever so slightly. Beautiful. Take one more inhale. And one more exhale. Lovely, gently bring the palms of the hands down towards the mat. Send the hips back, level with the right knee. Again, half split stretch, only as far as you want to go. Feel free to keep the toes down, a little bend in that left knee, or maybe peeling the toes back towards the face, finding that length down the back of that left leg, but keep that lift up through the chest. Beautiful, well done. Squeeze that left hip back, right hip forwards. Lovely, holding here. Keeping that slow and sturdy breath. Beautiful. So filling up the lungs entirely with every inhale. Emptying out the lungs completely with every exhale. Lovely. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Lovely, gently sink back into that left knee, heel toe the left foot out towards side, left arm on the inside of that left leg. Turn the toes out slightly, knee over ankle, and again, easy lizard pose. So wherever you chose to be on the other side, seeing if we can recreate that variation on this side. So choosing where you want to be today, it might be different than what it was yesterday, and it might change again tomorrow. Lovely, well done, it's all part of the process. Lovely, keep tuning the awareness in, noticing how the body is, feel, is feeling. Lovely, well done. Have one more inhale. And one more exhale. Lovely, from here, press the ground away. Gently sending that left leg down next to right. And then from here, tucking the toes under, coming straight into a downward facing dog. So press the ground away, inhale. Exhale, peel the knees away from that, lifting the hips up nice and high, downward facing dog. Beautiful, maybe spending a little bit longer here this time. So keep lifting the hips up nice and high. Tailbone to the sky, belly back to the thighs. Press down through the fingertips to protect your wrists. And just making sure we're not holding any unnecessary tension in the neck here. So maybe go ahead, shake the head, nod the head. Beautiful. You can bring some movement in here, should you wish. So 
entirely up to you. Have that freedom of choice to explore the posture should you wish. Lovely. Let's have two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Then have a little bend in the knees. You're going to walk the hands back towards the feet. Lovely. So bend the knees as much as you need to. And then from here, again, allow the torso to just drape over the legs and wrapping the arms around the back of the legs this time. Again, this time seeing if we can take hold of opposite elbows. So like we did when we were at the top of the mat, but this time the arms are around the back. Allow the head to hang heavy here. Lovely. And you can work a little bit with your breath here. So maybe as you inhale, sink down through the knees, sink the tailbone down. And as you exhale, lift the tailbone up nice and high. Keep the chest close towards the knees. Inhale, we go again. And exhale. Maybe finding that the forearms start to sink down to behind the calves, perhaps. Lovely, well done. Keep sending the crown of the head down towards the mat. Keep it going. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Beautiful. Gently release the hands. Bend through the knees. Fingertips come down towards the mat. Bend the knees. Lift the heels as you go. You're gently going to bring the knees all the way down towards the mat. Lift the chest. Come to sit on your heels. So getting a little stretch through the soles of the feet here. This might be too much for some of you. So do feel free to move out of this posture. It is an uncomfortable stretch. We're going to take a nice big inhale. Sweep the arms up nice and high. Palms meet above the head. Exhale the palms down. Twice more, inhale, and exhale. Once more, just this, inhale, and exhale. Lovely, this time as we inhale, sweep the arms up, lift the hips away from the heels. Exhale, release the arms down, hands meet at your lower spine. Inhale, lift up through the chest, lift up through the heart, gentle back bend here. And then as you exhale, gently untuck the toes one foot at a time. Sink the hips back towards your heels. Beautiful. Well done. Palms of the hands come towards your thighs. Reach the fingertips towards the knees. Roll the shoulders forwards. Tuck the chin down towards the chest. <sighs> Lovely. Inhale. Lift up through the heart. Lift up through the chest. And exhale. Gently come to sitting up nice and tall. Coming into another little ankle stretch. Two options for this. Option one, bring the fingertips down towards the mat. Have an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to squeeze the knees in towards the chest. Press the big toes down towards the mat. Option two, keep the palms pressed together in front of the heart. Have an inhale. Exhale, lift up through the chest, leaning back ever so slightly. And again, picking up the knees. So wherever you want to be today, listen to your body's beautiful, okay? Have an inhale. And have an exhale. Gently setting the knees back down. Walk the hands out long along your mat into your tabletop. Maybe take a moment just to step one foot back at a time. Get a little stretch through the back of the calf. A little rock forwards and backwards perhaps. Remember to claw down through the fingertips to protect your wrists. Changing over whenever you're ready. Beautiful, well done. Okay, then when you're ready, bring the knees back underneath the hips, wrists are underneath the shoulders. Have a nice big inhale, lift it through the heart, lift it through the chest, lift it through the tailbone, slight dip in the belly as you arch. Exhale, tucking the chin down towards the chest, press the ground away, reach out through the back of the shoulder blades. Staying in your curve as you gently send the hips back towards your heels, coming into a brief child's pose. And then inhale, lift in the chest, back up, lift in the tailbone, up through your arch. Lovely, exhale, tuck the chin down towards the chest, press the ground away. And gently send the hips back towards your heels, child's pose. Inhale, lift in the chest, through your arch. And exhale.
exhale through your curve and into your child's pose beautiful we're gonna go just once more inhale lift in the chest lift in the tailbone exhale curve hips back towards your heels into your child's pose and having a full round of breath here nice big inhale and nice big exhale as you inhale, gently slide in the fingertips back towards you, rolling up through the spine. Again, coming to sit on your heels. Have a lovely little shoulder roll as you get to the top. Exhale. Beautiful. Well done. Making sure the knees are parallel to one another. You're going to start with your right arm. So you're going to brush the right fingertips along that. Lift the right arm up. As you go, lift the heels. Lift the hips away from the heels, sorry. Right arm continues to reach all the way up. Left arm starts to follow. So the right arm is reaching to the back. Left arm is reaching forwards. Two options here. Either bring the right hand to support your lower spine or you're ever so gently going to bring the right hand down towards that right heel. Coming into a half camel pose. So gently reaching the left fingertips up. Keep pushing the hips forwards. Lift up through the chest. Lovely. Well done. Have a full round of breath here. Nice big inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, reach up through those left fingertips and gently windmill the arms all the way back down. So left arm starts to come down, right arm reaches up and then gently sink the hips back down towards the heels, coming back to kneeling. Straight away on the other side, left fingertips brush along the mat. Inhale, lift that left arm, lift the hips away from the heels, growing tall, right arm starts to follow. So the right arm is reaching forwards, left arm back. And again, you have that option just to support the lower spine here. Or maybe bring the left fingertips down towards that left heel, reaching the right fingertips up. Lift up through the chest. Beautiful. Push the hips forwards. Lovely. Have an inhale. And have an exhale. Inhale, reach up through those right fingertips. Use your core to gently lift yourself all the way back up. And we windmill the arms all the way back down, nice and slow with control. <sighs> Gently bring the hips back to sitting on your heels, fingertips towards your thighs. Inhale, lift up through the heart, lift up through the chest. And exhale, walk the fingertips down towards your knees, tuck the chin down towards the chest, curve through the spine. Inhale, coming back to sit up nice and tall. Exhale, walk the fingertips out long, back into your tabletop, tuck the toes under, inhale. Exhale, lift the hips up nice and high. Beautiful, well done. Again, either work with movement or work with stillness, whichever feels better for your body today. Holding here for just a few more rounds of breath. Have one more inhale. And one more exhale. Inhale, looking forwards to the top of your mat. And then just having a nice little walk with the feet, walking the feet all the way towards the hands. Again, finding yourself in a standing forward fold. Feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, have a halfway lift. And exhale, rippling back down. Inhale, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone under, juicy roll up through the spine. Lovely, well done, keeping the chin tucked towards the chest until the very last moment when the head is the final thing to lift and send those shoulders down and away. <sighs> Lovely, well done. Find yourself back in standing and then from here just take a real nice big step back with the left leg. Lovely, well done. You're going to drop that left heel down and open the arms out into a warrior two. So sink into that right knee. Right knee is over the right ankle. Keep the heart over your hips. It's quite tempting to bring the heart a little bit further forward. So make sure the heart is over the hips here. Tuck the tailbone under. Soften through the shoulders. Energy out through the fingertips. Press down through that little toe edge of the back foot. And full round of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen out through that right leg. 
Uh, exhale, reaching forwards with the right fingertips. Imagine someone's pulling you by your fingertips there. Gently bring the right hand on the inside of the right leg, maybe taking hold of the shin or the ankle. Maybe it comes all the way down towards the ground. It's entirely up to you. Again, you can use a block, should you wish. Left hand, again, maybe supports the lower spine to really roll that left shoulder back. Or maybe reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe even gazing up towards that top arm, seeing if you can bring your nose in line with your thumb. Imagine your back is flat up against the wall here into your triangle pose. Take care of the knee here. If there's too much pressure through the back of the knee, have a little micro bend, should you wish. Lovely, keep rooting down through the feet, slow and steady breath. Keeping both sides of the body nice and long. Lovely, well done. One more inhale, and one more exhale. Beautiful, gently turning the head to look down towards your mat. Bend slightly into the right knee. Now your left hand is gonna come down towards the outside edge of the right leg. You might want to hop the left foot in slightly. So again, drop that left heel down, so shorten the stance ever so slightly. Coming into a revolved triangle, so this is quite an advanced stretch, so take it easy. Left hand comes to the outside edge of the right leg, square off the hips, and maybe you just want to bring that right hand to support your lower spine. Beautiful, so you're twisting the torso to the right hand side, or maybe lifting that right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, well done. Holding here, root down through the feet. Take care of the knees, use a block should you need to. Really well done. Two more breaths here, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Looking down towards the right foot again, bend back into that right knee. Right arm comes down and you're gonna windmill all, both arms, left arm initiates. The right arm follows back into your warrior two, turn those left toes out 90 degrees, beautiful, well done. Have an inhale, and have an exhale. Lovely, lengthen out that right leg, hands come towards your hips, and just turn, pivot the feet so you're facing the left long edge of your mat. Toes are pointing out, heels in, have an inhale. As you exhale, sinking the hips down into your goddess pose. So keep the tailbone tucked under. Keep lifting up through the chest, shoulders nice and soft. Rooting down through the feet. Lovely, well done. Hold here for an inhale. And an exhale. Slide the fingertips down towards your knees. Inhale here. Exhale, sending the right shoulder down towards the ground. Inhale to change. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale, change. Exhale, right. Inhale, change. Exhale, left. One more time, both sides. Inhale, change. Keep sinking the hips down. Exhale, right. Inhale, change. Exhale, left. Inhale, lifting the chest, keep sinking down through the hips. Beautiful, well done, hands towards your hips. And inhale, lengthen out the legs, beautiful, well done. Pivoting the toes, so left foot is now gonna point towards the back of the mat, right toes turn in slightly, so the right toes are out 90 degrees. Reach the arms out into a T-shape. Exhale, sink into the left knee, warrior two on the other side. And again, rooting down through the feet to have that little bit of softness through the shoulders. <sighs> Lovely. So if you feel like you're holding a little bit of tension in your shoulders, feel free to, again, like we did at the beginning, just shake it out and then come back. <sighs> Lovely. Well done. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Inhale, lengthen out that left leg. Exhale, reaching forwards with the left arm. Again, trying to keep both sides of the body nice and long. Left hand comes down on the inside of that left leg. So wherever you were in triangle pose on the other side, trying to take the same variation on this side. Beautiful, take your time as you come into the posture. 
lovely so remember to modify here if you need to use blocks whatever you've got lovely well done be rolling that right shoulder back two more breaths inhale and exhale one more breath inhale and exhale lovely turning the head to look down towards the ground sink into that left knee slightly right arm is going to start to come down and again you might want to hop that right foot in slightly beautiful making sure we've got that heel rooted down towards the ground right hand comes to the outside edge of the left leg maybe that left hand again just supports the lower spine as you twist the torso over to the left beautiful okay and if you're ready Finding that length down the back of the left leg, maybe reaching that left arm up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Keep rooting down through the feet here. Use your breath to help you. Lovely. Well done. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Lovely, looking down towards your foot and bending into that left knee, left hand starts to come down. Windmill the arms, right arm starts, left arm follows. Warrior two, turn those right toes back up 90 degrees. And exhale, hands come back towards your hips, length now that left leg, and bringing the toes to point in slightly now. So toes in, heels out, hands towards the hips, inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, hinging at the hips, dive in the chest down. Maybe pausing halfway, should you wish, or maybe continuing on a little bit further down. Again, use blocks to bring the ground up to you. Lovely, wide leg, forward fold. Keep rooting down through the feet. And then we're gonna bring back the little undulation, the ripple through the spine. So bend in the knees if you need to here. You're gonna inhale, ripple up through the spine, find a little halfway lift. Maybe the fingertips just gently touch the ground here. Exhale, ripple back down. A few more times, inhale, ripple up. And exhale, ripple down. Keep it going, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. Once more. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. Pausing for a few moments in your wide leg forward fold. If the hands are comfortably down towards the ground, either bringing the heels of the hands in line with the heels of your feet, or maybe turning the fingertips around so the fingertips are going to reach behind you through the legs. Lovely. Well done. Maybe think about bringing the weight a little bit further forwards towards your toes and sending the crown of the head down. Beautiful. Lovely, well done. Stay with the breath. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Lovely, well done. Press the palms down in towards the mat. Lift the chest, bend the knees, and just gently starting to heel toe the feet close together. Not so close together, so a little bit wider than hip distance apart here. Have an inhale. As you exhale, bend the knees out towards the side, sinking the hips down, finding your little yogi squat, your malasana. <sighs> Lovely, well done. So you can keep the fingertips down if you need to, if that helps you with your balance. But lift up through the chest and maybe bring the palms together in front of the heart. Elbows into the inner crease of the knees. Use that to keep that lift up through the chest. Maybe close the eyes for a few moments here. Lovely, well done. Holding here. Yeah. 
have one more inhale and one more exhale. Beautiful. Gently bring the palms, the hands down towards the mat. Use your hands to help guide the sit bones down. Nice and easy. Bring the knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Maybe have a few moments just to wipe away the knees from side to side. Nice and easy. Lovely. Well done. Ease out any tension that may exist in the hips there. Okay. Lovely, bring the knees back up through centre, lift up through the chest. As you exhale, send the knees out towards the side, coming into your butterfly stretch, your Baddha So taking hold of the soles of the feet like you're holding open the pages of a book. So as you open the soles of the feet, seeing if that allows the knees to fall a little bit further out towards the side. You can use something to support the knees here should you need to. So again, you can use blocks, cushions, whatever you need. You can also prop yourself up, so lift the hips by sitting on a block just to help elevate the hips and allow the knees to fall out towards side a little bit more comfortably so do use your props if you've got them they're there to help you lift up through the chest lovely well done holding here lovely stay with the breath we're very nearly there keep the awareness in notice how the body is feeling Have one more inhale and one more exhale. Lovely. From here, you're going to extend just the right leg out towards the side. Keep the left leg where it is. Flex into those right toes. Allow this right arm to either rest on the inside of the right leg. Maybe it takes hold of the left or just rest onto that left ankle. Sorry. As you inhale, sweep the left arm up and over into your evolved Janushishasana here. Lovely. Fingertips reaching towards those right toes. Lovely, nice big side body stretch all the way down the left side body here. Lovely, well done. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Inhale, lift that left arm all the way up and over. Left hand is going to come to the ground down that left hand side. Right arm is going to brush along the mat. Press down through the left fingertips and this left shin. Inhale, lift that right arm, lift the hips into a modified wild thing. Beautiful. Have an inhale here. As you exhale, gently sink back down. Lovely, hips come down towards the mat, reach the right hand to the right leg, gently fold that right knee back in, back through your butterfly, and then changing straight over to the other side, so extending that left leg out towards the side. Beautiful, choosing where you want to place this left arm, either on the inside of the leg, maybe taking hold of the right ankle, and inhale, sweep that right arm up and over. Lovely. So try not to encourage this right arm to kind of droop in front of the face here. We want to keep lifting up through the heart. So almost like you're spinning the chest up towards the ceiling here. Energy out through the fingertips. <sighs> Lovely. Well done. Keep that left leg active. So keep peeling the toes back towards you. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Inhale, wind with the arms, lift the chest, right hand comes down towards the ground, press down through the right fingertips and through the right shin, brush the left fingertips along the mat, lift the hips up nice and high, lift in the chest, beautiful modified wild thing. One more inhale. And exhale, gently coming back down. Beautiful, well done. Then from here, you're going to extend the right leg also out towards the side, so coming into a straddle. So 
making sure the toes are pointing up towards the ceiling, knees are pointing up towards ceiling, so we've not allowed the knees to kind of roll in or roll back, everything's nice and aligned. Again, prop something underneath the hips to keep the hips elevated here if you need to, keep the chest nice and lifted, beautiful, well done. Fingertips either resting in front of you, you might need them behind you, again, to help lift the spine up here. Okay. Lovely, when you're ready, take a nice big inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, keep reaching out through the fingertips, starting to dive the chest down, keep that long spine. Before allowing the fingertips to rest down, inhale to come back up. Lovely, we're gonna go again, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Twice more. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Keep reaching forwards out through the fingertips and then pausing in your wide leg forward fold. So you might bring the fingertips down towards the ground. Maybe the forearms come down. Keep that long spine. Keep kicking the heels away from you. Lovely. Well done. And you can use your breath to help you here. So use that inhale to again undulate through the spine, lift up through the chest, find that length. Exhale, soften into the fold. <sighs> Lovely, well done. Two more rounds of breath, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, gently walk the fingertips back towards you, lifting the chest back up. Bring the hands towards the back of the knees, encourage those knees to close. Lovely, take your time here. Beautiful, and again, exactly the same what we did a moment ago. Bring the hands behind you and just wipe blade the knees from side to side, nice and easy. Easing out any tension in the hips, gently rolling along the base of your spine. Beautiful. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna start to make our way to lying down. So maybe swinging the legs out round to one side and gently guiding the body down. Keep the knees bent so the knees are pointing up towards the ceiling and then walking the heels as close as you can towards your sit bones. Heels press down towards the mat, palms of the hands down by your sides. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, press your lower spine down towards the mat and then ever so gently peel the hips away from the mat, rippling up through the spine, coming up onto the backs of the shoulders here. Lift the hips up nice and high into your bridge. Exhale, gently ripple back down. <sighs> Lovely, so bringing the spine down bone by bone. <sighs> Inhale as you reach the bottom. And then exhale, tucking the tailbone under, lifting the hips up nice and high. Keeping the knees parallel together if you can, so trying to refrain from allowing the knees to splay out to the side. Exhale, gently rippling back down. Just once more, inhale. And exhale, tuck the tailbone under, lifting the hips up nice and high. As you get to the top, inhale, squeeze and lift a little bit higher. And exhale, gently bring the hips back down. <sighs> Beautiful, well done. Bring the arms out towards the side. Either lengthen the arms out long or maybe cactus in the elbows, depending how much space you've got. Cross the right knee over the left. Have an inhale. And then as you exhale, allow both knees to fall towards the left-hand side. Lovely little spinal twist here. So allow the right hip to lift, but keep that right shoulder blade down and towards the mat. And then maybe turning the gaze to look towards the right hand side, whichever is most comfortable for your neck here. Lovely, well done, enjoying this twist. Have one more inhale. And one more exhale. 
Inhale, gently lifting the knees back up through center and crossing the right leg and then crossing the left leg over the right. Inhale here. Exhale, sending both knees to the right. Lovely, and then allowing that left hip to lift, left shoulder blade stays down and maybe turning the gaze to look towards the left hand side. Beautiful, enjoying this stretch here. If you need to adjust, absolutely feel free to do so. Have one more inhale, one more exhale. Inhale, gently bring the knees back through center, uncrossing the left knee. Take a moment to bring the knees in towards the chest, perhaps curling yourself up into a little ball, maybe wrapping the arms around the shins, maybe the back of the thighs. Have a little sway from side to side. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, we're gonna make our way into a little shavasana, a little relaxation. So take your time. If there is any final few stretches you feel as though your body needs today, feel free to, of course, take them now. But if you're ready for your shavasana, either keeping the knees bent to protect your lower spine, or maybe sending the legs out long. Lovely toes fall out towards the side and allow the backs of the hands to rest on the ground with the fingertips naturally curling in. Beautiful, taking a few moments just to soften. Allow the body to release. Allow the breath to gradually return back to that gentle pace. Taking the time to notice how your body is feeling now. Maybe there's a little bit more space, a little bit more lightness perhaps. Just taking a few minutes just to allow yourselves to be in this moment. Allow everything to be nice and easy. So we're not gripping or holding on to anything. We can give ourselves permission to completely let go. Enjoying a few moments of quiet and calm. Being sure to dedicate these final few moments to yourself. And when you're ready, take a nice big inhale in through the nose, filling up the lungs entirely. Exhale, release with a sigh. And again, inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Starting to bring some gentle movement back into the body. Starting with your fingertips and your toes. Rotating into the wrists and into the ankles. Lovely. And then when you're ready, taking a nice big inhale, reaching the arms up and above behind the head. Nice big energizing stretch along your mats. Stretching the fingertips behind you, the toes out front. And as you exhale, floating the arms all the way down. 
beautiful well done and then taking your time here no need to rush but gently making your way back up to seated so maybe that's rolling over onto one side using your arms to help you as you push yourselves up and coming to a comfortable seated position crossing at the shins or at the ankles rooting down through the sit bones palms of the hands resting on the knees shoulders down and away from those ears and closing off the eyes as we close off the practice as always with the blessing may the sun bring you new energy by day may the moon softly restore you at night may the rain wash away your worries and may the breeze blow new strength throughout your being. And may you walk through the world knowing its beauty all the days of your life. And with that, we bring the palms together in front of the heart. And we bow. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me again. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope your body feels a little bit more stretched out and maybe ready for the rest of your day. So I will see you soon for another practice. Thank you. Mwah.